Oh, hey there YouTube, it's yours 95 here. And I'm just collecting a bit more wood, so then we can build. Because, um, we need to get the animal farm started. Because, oh, I just hear a zombie. Wouldn't surprise me. I literally just found a cave while I'm out harvesting some wood. And we got, oh, yay, we've got a bit more than a stack. Okay, so, um, just a little, I don't know why this popped into my head, but it's just like, um, a good, oh, ah. Oh. I wonder what that noise was then. I thought, like, what the deuce? And I remember, um, I can make a noise on the break now. But the topic I'd like to talk about is um, games, since it's coming up to the end of the year, and I won't be able to cover um, any gaming news at the end of the year, which is what I really wanted to do, but um, I'm not going to be able to upload because I can't get onto a computer while I'm out there. Well, I can, but it's not um, good enough to upload on because it's like um, a crappy old laptop. And it's really bad, but, um, like, games, really, that's basically what it is. Um, obviously 2011, a lot of good games have come out this year. And also, there has been a lot of good games over time, so, just like a few little questions, really. Um, what is your favourite game of all time? If you were given the correct, um, platform to play it on, then, like, you get the if it's on Nintendo, if it's on Nintendo Wii, you get a Wii. If it's on um, PlayStation, you get it on PlayStation. But what would be that game if you were given a week to play it on? And uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, you, you've been given a week. I'm just gonna actually go collect some stone as well while I'm at it. So, not stone, um, iron. Because I know where some is, but if you were given a few days and um, the correct console and no no interruptions at all, what game would you want? Would you want it to be? Well, I'm going to talk about mine to be honest because I think mine's quite a nice one. I want to put that in as well because it's like an old one that I'm reminiscent of really. Because the very first game I can remember playing is Super Mario Bros. for Nintendo 64. I was pretty young, I'd say. Young. Maximum eight. I'm going to go to sleep first, actually, before I go out and do anything. Let's quickly explore my mind as well, see if there's anything down here. But. Um, I was probably. I was no older than six. And. My dad walked in. With, like, he'd had a box of all of his old stuff that he no longer, well, that he's not used in years. And in there he had a Nintendo 64. Ooh, some iron, sweet. And he bought out three games. He bought out Mario, not Mario Kart, um, Super Mario Bros. Um, Lemmings, and I can't remember what the third one was because I never played it. Because I didn't like the game. But, I was there for the whole weekend that he'd come out playing Super Mario Bros. Because I didn't like Lemmings, because I couldn't get my ha get my head around it at all. But I also didn't get the other game at all, so I can't even remember, I can't even remember what it's called. But, I had a PlayStation 1 before then, and I didn't really like it, because there was no good games, really. But, Mario, I was on it all weekend. I l liked it literally that much. One of them games that I played all weekend. And then when my dad joined in, it's like, Wow, you have two players on this? Because he gave it on a Saturday. Well, Friday night. And then Saturday he went to work. So, and then Sunday, he played with me. I was like, wow. That was a like, really exciting thing for me as a young boy. That is my fav like one of my favourite games of all time. Like, the second little question would be, um, favourite game of this year? So... But all the games that have been released this year, what is your favourite? I'd say mine has been... <sighs> mine probably would be... Oh... Now, I'd say since it's now a full game, I'd say Minecraft because I like it. But, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm going to say Minecraft is quite the easiest option, but I'm not too sure. And then. Favourite game you've played this year, so it don't have to be one that's been released this year, but you have to have played it this year. 
Now mine... It would probably be... Um, probably be... Oh, I can't think. It would have to be... Um, oh my god, I can't believe I can't think. Um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Because last year I fell in love with Call of Duty. Right. Cause I literally never played Call of Duty before, before last year. And then I decided, I know, I'll buy it because what happened was, it was in game, I think it was game or game station, and I saw Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 Reflex Edition. And it was like, wow, because this is the Wii version of it, obviously. And it was like, wow, you can actually have it on Wii? Because I had an Xbox, but if anyone knows what I've been saying in live streams and recordings before, uh, Xbox tend to break with me, so I didn't really have a working Xbox at the time, so I bought it for Wii, and I was like, wow. But I only played campaign on it for some reason, I can't remember why, it was just like, campaign was the option for me. And, but still, that to me was one of the best games ever. And then when I found out multiplayer, I was like, whoa, you play multiplayer with other people, oh my god. And I played with quite a few people. I was like, wow. And then Black Ops came out for it. And it was like, that was like another big wow for me, because it was on Wii. Like, because Modern Warfare 2 wasn't, and I tried to get Modern Warfare 2 on it, because a lot of people were like, at the time, oh, Modern Warfare 2, best game ever, ah. And I'm happy I didn't buy it because I hate Modern Warfare 2, to be honest. And it's just like one of them games that's like, wow, I'm never going to forget it. Sort of thing, like Mario. It's been almost 12 years and I can still remember that. So that's like one of the few games that I do like a lot. But then there was also, um, like, it was, cause it was Call of Duty 4. Um, I got it on PS3 this year because it got me on PS3 this year. And it was like, Wow, this is better than it was on Wii. Oh my god! Then when I get my new PC, which should be coming soon, um, it'll be like well, that I'll be getting soon, should I say? Um, that'll be another big wow. I'm getting called it for for this as well. Oh my god! I need to get some dirt. And that'll be another big wow because I like playing games on PC, but um, with a gig of RAM on here, I can't really play any good games. I'll go dirt. And um so I'll be playing Call of Duty 4 on that and I hope I will get some gameplay of that because that will be fun. Because I do like to play the games on PC but I'm not very good at them. So if I do upload any of them don't expect good gameplay straight away. I have to get used to it. But that will be another big one for me, so um I am looking forward to getting that. Also like if I get Call of Duty 5 I'll be doing custom zombie maps. So yeah, I don't know how I've got into this little like um conversation. Well rant should I say, but yeah, um like Call of Duty Four has been my game for this year. I think that's what it was actually it's, it was the game for the year. But yeah, I mean I do like the Call of Duty games. They are very good games, but they are overrated. It's like everyone is like Call of Duty it's like, no, there are other games, I do, yes, I do play Call of Duty a lot, but it is like my primary game that I go on to play, but I don't like it as much as I do other games. I only go on because, like, most of my friends that I've got on the PSN or Xbox Live or Steam or whatever play Call of Duty. But, and like, I play a lot, I like to play a lot of Battlefield because that to me is um, a better game because I like to play objectives, not go for KD. And that's the problem with Call of Duty. A lot of people just go for KD. So. But I'm not going to complain. If you like to play for KD, you can. But I like to play for objectives. So the team actually does win. So I'm thinking this one should be sheep. I need to get some grass over here. Because when the update comes out, sheep will regenerate their wool from eating grass, which is cool. And the update will probably come out when I'm gone. So I will update when I get back. Because I'll put this world onto the new computer, because that seems to be a suggestion that I have been told by lovely little messages. Now, if you did comment on the video, but if you want to just send me a message, it doesn't bother me, but I like to read comments more, if, you, if that doesn't sound too, like, weird. Because I like to read 
stuff on the video, so I know people are actually watching it, not just like um, getting info and then just telling me so they don't get it on the wrong video. Except it's like what? How'd you know about that? But um, I mean, I'm not going to complain. If you want to comment, if you want to send me a message, you can. But so I will transfer this over to the new computer somehow. I should just put it into a. I'll put it into a zip file. I'll let you download it as well if you want when it gets a bit more done. Well, a bit more fini finished more. I don't know. I've got really bad English skills today. Also, I do apologise if I sound a bit bunged up. I literally just walked home all the way in really strong winds. Not complaining about that. Just complaining that, because I can. Really, I like to complain. Right, let's get some fences going on. And then they'll be for the fence gate. Right, so, um, how many are we going to get from this? Uh, about probably about twenty gates, maybe, maybe more. Okay, that's cool. Oop. Now I'm not gonna make any more fences with that yet. I'll wait and see. Get that one fence there as well. Right, so this actually looks like quite a small area, but it's just gonna be for one sort of animal. Now I'm trying to think how am I going to get them in. Um, looks like I'm going to have to make them go through my house. Which I'm not a big fan on doing when it comes to animals because they like to get lost. And then they'll be stuck in my house forever and it's like, oh, shut up. Oh, and they're like right next to my bedroom as well. That's going to be annoying. But I'll have to get used to that. And I think this one will be sheep actually. Because sheep aren't, well... I need cows really so I can get some meat to go in, but Oh, I need like what, eight more fences? Damn it. Um That should be enough. Oh crap. I don't know what I was doing there, it's like I don't know why I just like click shift, but let's just do that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, bit dodgy. So that should be enough now to hopefully finish off the farming area for the next set of, well, for the first set of animals. And then I just need to bring them across with some wheat. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a few too many, but, oh wow, one too many, I shouldn't have added them extra sticks. But now, just to make the fence gate, which, oh god, it's one two. Uh, it's one, two, two, please, be, yes, that's right. It's like, please be that. I'll be struggling for ages, thinking what it is. Right. Actually, I do need these fences. Oh. One. I need, oh, uh, bugger. I'm really bad when it comes to placing stuff. Um, there. Just using my scroll wheel for once, it's like stupid. I don't like using the scroll wheel. Well, on this mouse anyway, because it's quite crappy. And... Uh, right, so for now, that will be where the sheep will be allowed to come across with. I should have one piece of wheat. 